Hey family and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I am doing a tag video which is called a step into spring tag and how befitting. I mean spring just came so let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, family, thank you so much for coming back. So I put together this spring tag. There are several other YouTubers participating in this. Of course, there will be a playlist down in the description box below. So go ahead and check out all of the YouTubers who are a part of this tag. There are several of them. So of course, I don't want to miss anybody when I start to name them. So I'm going to skip naming them. But check out the spring tag down in the description box below and check out to see what all of the other YouTubers have to say about this tag as well. Um, there are only 10 questions, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. The very first question is, what are three colors that make me think of spring? And I will absolutely have to say a bright green, yellow, and one of my favorites, turquoise. I absolutely love turquoise and those three colors really make me think about spring. The, uh, the the green is for the grass, the yellow is for some of the flowers, and then I just really, really, really love turquoise. It looks good on my dark skin. Don't you agree? <laughs> Moving on. Number two is what is the first thing I add to my wardrobe when it becomes spring? And I absolutely have to say a sundress. I am a sundress type of girl, so a sundress is the very first thing that I would absolutely add to my wardrobe, okay? The third question is what item would I ditch? What is the first item that I would ditch in my spring wardrobe? And I would absolutely have to say a jacket because here in the San Diego area, we very rarely need jackets, let alone coats. We don't have the four seasons here. So with that being said, anytime I do have to wear a coat, it is a jacket. And I just absolutely don't want to do that any longer. So yes, the days are definitely coming upon us where I will not have to wear a jacket for more than half the year. It's just not here as of yet. <laughs> The fourth question is what are my ultimate spring nude and spring bright lipsticks? And I would have to say for me in particular, I am not a girl that changes my lipsticks depending on the season. I am a woman that absolutely chooses my lipstick because I like the way that it looks on me year round. And I will have to say that I am getting into black, a black lip. Yes, I said black. Some of you have absolutely seen it on these videos, but I did not think the black was going to go well with me, and but I was just like, you know what, let me try it out. And so I tried it out, and I absolutely love it. Like, can you hear what I'm saying? I absolutely love the black lipstick. I didn't think that I would. I thought that maybe I was going to be a bit goth or whatever. Not to knock anybody that's goth, but I'm just saying, for me, that doesn't necessarily work for me and my personality. But I love the black. That's not spring, though, so I'm going to move on. <laughs> Number five, what is my top spring fragrance? And I would absolutely have to say Nude by Rihanna. I absolutely love the way this fragrance smells. I love the way that it makes me feel. I just feel so sexy when I have this on. And of course, I get compliments with it too. So that don't hurt. Do it, okay? <laughs> the sixth question is, what do I add or drop to my skincare routine when it uh, when spring is upon us and I would absolutely have to say that I just do not use as much oil on my face during the winter time here in San Diego I use more oil to keep me more moisturized on my face but during the springtime I don't use as much now I have combination skin which I know y'all didn't ask that however I know that a lot of people might just write in at the bottom like you can use oil in, on your face and you have combination skin Yes, I do. I know that it seems contradictory, but it actually helps to level out my oil levels on my face and I'm not as oily throughout the day. Now, so just as a side note, I actually used to be a, uh, a makeup artist and I learned a lot of these skincare techniques during that period in my life. And again, if you are oily or combination, try to talk to your esthetician or even go to somebody who absolutely knows what they're talking about as far as the skincare because the skincare is actually more important than the makeup that you put on your face. If your skin is ugly, underneath all that makeup is going to be nothing but hills and mountains on your face. I'm just saying, get your skincare right and then your makeup will flawlessly go on there so you don't have these big old bumps underneath your makeup and then you're trying to cake on all this makeup 
it don't work, boo. You got to get your skincare together first before you put on that makeup. Okay, I'll move on. Dang, I got nothing to do with spring. <laughs> Number seven, do you change your hair up in spring? I have to say, uh, no, I don't necessarily just change my hair up for spring. But I will say, if you have been just now following me, you just found me recently, if you look at some of my other videos, I actually just cut off all my hair. Now, not to say that it was all down my back or anything, but it was definitely a little bit past my shoulder blades and everything. And so I was just tired and I was just like, you know what, let me go ahead and do something different. But do I necessarily do it just for spring? No, I did it because I had get the five year itch and it was time to do something different. And so I don't know how long I'm gonna rock this. I don't know if I'm gonna let it grow out a little bit, but right now I am feeling all the way this right here. So. <laughs> Number eight, are there any exciting beauty releases that I'm waiting on? Um, no, I don't get, I don't really get caught up in the trends. If I happen to find something that I absolutely like that works for me, then I go ahead and get it. I'm not a trend setter. I'm not a trend follower. I just get what I like and what works for me and my um, chemicals in my body. I, I get what works for me. I get what smells good for me. I get what looks right on me. I wear the right size clothing. Y'all didn't ask all that, did you? Moving on. Number nine, what are my top three um, spring nail shades? Now, I have to say I'm actually boring in this area because I don't paint my nails. I actually like to look at my nails. I like to physically look down and see that I have nails there. I don't really like the polish on them. And besides, polish just chips off. And then I even tried to do the gel. The gel is just as bad as getting acrylics. And they messed up my fingernails just as bad. And, and, and honestly, I just go in there and do super old, old school when I get my nails done. Go in there and then let them get all the cuticles and clean them up and make them look really pretty. And then I make them buff. So it'll have a little shine to it and don't have a shine right now which means I need to go however comma yes I'm boring in the nail color department because I don't wear colors on my nails moving on the tenth question is who should do this tag next and I am tagging any and everybody who wants to participate uh, as I already said there are a multitude <laughs> okay multitude is a lot but there are several youtubers already participating in this tag that playlist again is down in the description box below absolutely go ahead and check out their videos of course comment and like on theirs as well if you love videos like this I will definitely be doing a lot more because I am <sighs> come here y'all come here I am challenging myself once again, but a deeper challenge, a longer challenge. So what am I speaking about? I have decided to put together and partake in a 100 day vlog challenge. So if you really love and enjoy and were excited about my 30 day vlog challenges, I already did I said two, right? I already did two of them thus far. So those, definitely those playlists and those questions are down in the description box. Actually, they're not in my description box. You got to go to my um, main page. Excuse me to find those playlists. But I did Vlogmas, which is Christmas 2017. And then I just did one the entire month of March 2018. And so now I, this is the first video of this 100 day vlog challenge and so for the next 100 days you will see a new video every single day new video new topic something different every single day this is absolutely going to be some work and again this is why they call it a challenge but i am up for the challenge i hope that you guys will stick around with me if you loved a video like this and you are new of course give me thumbs up but also don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and of course the bell because with the bell you will get notified because sometimes we get busy in our lives but I want you to come back I want you to come back and see what I have put up for this day and of course to comment on all of those videos because here at I love me 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 I am supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy healthy romantic relationships that is what i'm all about here we want to decrease the divorce rate dramatically here at i love me 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 so again hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face and i will see you again tomorrow deuces